Pat, you actually don't know what we're playing right now. Right now, I don't. You don't know. You still don't know. Don't pirate That's it. That's weird. Have you ever seen that before? That branded I, message? I never get piracy logos at the beginning of games or movies, because it's like, if I bought it legit, fuck you. And, it's, and if I didn't buy it legit, I don't care. And it's literally a victimless crime. Yes. No one gets hurt. No one gets hurt when you pirate. <laughs> it's true. It's not the st- same as stealing a car. I would download a car. Thank if, you. If I could download a little mini car and be booping it. What? Okay. I was like, I was just like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And it's Clock um, Tower something. So uh, this is actually, I you know came to realize this, that Clock Tower is very similar to Final Fantasy in the sense that a clock tower came oh, out. That, Look at that live action explosion! That looks like a goddamn movie from the fucking 70s. It looks like it was taken from Pumpkinhead. Is that clock tower came on the Super Nintendo and we played that last shitstorm, but we and played. We're not a, good at it. We played a fan translated version. Yeah. So that came. That never it came out it, over here. Oh my but god. But this did, and they have to reference the first oh, game because this is technically still a sequel. Killed. But this is billed like it's the first one. There are some like super nuts, like like text formatting here. Yeah, it's a little aggressive. Oh no! So this is basically retelling the story of the Super Nintendo game, like yeah. this little bit. Game that we got nowhere on. We we actually got everywhere. You beat it. I, I got. If you recall, one, I got a good ending. Oh no, that's look, it's York. This is some fucking proto CG. Oh man. <laughs> this is honestly like fucking House of the Dead overkill. A little almost. bit, huh? But oh, no one knew about parody back in 1997. I played this. You did play this one. Yeah, back I played it for about five minutes. Mm-hmm. And then it's, and it's, then went, fuck this! It's okay, just letting you guys know we might cut a little bit, because it is a text heavy, nothing happens for like the first twenty Not minutes. Mass of visual adventure. Um, but I got oh, some... Oh, that's a little nice little callback to the... To the Super the Nintendo game. One, yeah. yeah, it has a very similar intro. And, uh, I got somewhere beyond the, uh, that kind of, like, opening. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we just, we're gonna, like, have to cut a little bit, because there's literally nothing happening. I like ending lists, though. Yeah. That's fucking handy. Bad end, bad end, bad end, bad end, bad end. Okay. And good end. Sex end. Oh, sex scissor end? Yeah, it's a good one. Man, these scissors are so big. Oh man, I can I don't think I can take both blades. No what I can. I can. Oh no, is it Gygus attacking us? <laughs> well, that's that's a strong start. Yeah. That well, that that's such a 16-bit effect, but using it yeah. on like uh new hardware is funny. Professor Barton. Clint! Professor Barton. Yo, come on. Doing, professor. Oh my god. You mustn't hypnotize her like this. This looks like total shit. She's not ready to remember the murders yet. Helen, the clock tower murders are fascinating research material for me. Oh, this is the best. It's super good. Must know the truth of what happened. So this is also the type of thing where you jump around between a lot of characters. I if, bet. if you remember the That's Nintendo the lady from one. the first one, right? Uh I think so. This is Jessica, I believe. I can't remember if her name was Jessica, but there's about two or three survivors from the Super Nintendo game. You may be her guardian, but you are also my assistant. This is amazing. Professor. There's something weird about like no let oh, me look they go into a black void. Let me hypnotize her more so I can jerk off to these murders. Now, when you're this type of dude, yeah. So what's neat about this is that the the cursor kinda anchors onto anything that's Clickable. Even somewhat important. Uh, yes, just just stuff about uh, you know whatever. Uh, but you can like freely like click anywhere. Like I can click off here and he'll just go into the next room or whatever. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, that's fine. I remember like loading this up and playing it for about five minutes, and and the the mouse controls like especially on a console at, at that time made me like just vomit you know they're not great myself. here, but so this is great. Whoa, that's crazy. That's a you mor- slash up his victims. That's morbid ass shit. I I I I went into this and the fact that he disappears and it just oh it's amazing. Anyway, 
Um, That's pretty and you, good. And you double, you double, double tap, and then he'll kind of walk his yeah, ass s- off. A similar bit. to the control scheme in the original. It really is. I mean, it's a little bit faster, especially when you run. But uh, oh, it's my, my laboratory. I've been doing criminal psychology. Oh, research. So there is a fucking fax or a printout that never stops in this room. You can hear it. Important shit is happening. It's right there. It's right next to you. Look at that big skull right there. That looks terrible. It's it's clearly a, a picture, but... Boy, this game probably looks much better on a CRT. I, I suppose so. We're playing on the PS3 right now. I'm glad that this is a really obscure game, like low print run and all that mm. so I was kind of worried it'll be like Wu-Tang Shaolin style and, and just, just like die because it has goofy programming mm. uh, and another thing about this kind of RPG like in that I need to do something in certain rooms if I try to leave it'll say no you still have something to do no, it doesn't it tell you what to do and usually it's talk to everybody yeah talk to everybody learn all the infos get the story uh, they're really beginning to look like sisters what does that mean? Uh, it's when girls hang out, they start to look like each other because of their periods. Oh, yeah, because their periods, like, synchronize, and yeah. then their facial features start morphing. And then start they start morphing. to, like, wear the same makeup and, and wear the same shirts. Hair. Yeah. Let me just throw some jeans on and we'll go out. Yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I do that with Liam sometimes. Yeah, but I know. I don't want to go out, Matt. Not after what you what you did. Look at this guy. He's doing it. That dude is... Might as well be in a T-pose. Or, yeah, or, like, he's just a mannequin. There, he's moving. He's alive. Don't worry, folks. Man, early 3D. Holy shit. God, I think I gotta talk to him. It's about the Clock Tower murders, isn't it? It's always gonna be about the Clock Tower murders. So, this guy is like, oh, you sensei, like, the Scissor Man isn't even real. Oh, that was all bullshit. Then who killed those people? The man with the scissors. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, he, the, because uh, I played a little bit, and he's basically like that wasn't real. That it was just a man that had scissors. There is no scissor man. Okay. Like it's not Jason Voorhees. It's just some crazy guy with a mask. Okay, so he's like, it's not a magical little pixie man. No. Who's actually deformed. It was like some dickhead in a mask. It's some dickhead in a mask. So it's scream, not. Friday the 13th. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of what this guy is. You shouldn't keep the reporter waiting too long. Well, I'm trying to go through there. Is that the reporter right there? No, I think I have to look at Did I pick up this dumb thing Yes, here? you did. Do I have to talk to her one more time? Hello, Mr. Reporter. I wish you had a cute kid sister. A cute kid brother. So adorable. Would be okay. Would be okay. I Would can I, beat I, them consequence free. Yeah. It's a five finger discount, dude. Looks like a prize, one at a fair. Okay. Oh, it's supposed to be a bear. Yeah, that orange uh, Dorito. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was a Dorito. Oh, yeah, this game's great. I told you, we might need to cut. Fuck. Because I have... I, I, yeah, I examined the three objects this and I best. talked to everybody. This is my favorite. Um, this is my favorite thing. Yeah, examine the You door. know what? It might be just anything that's... No. What? That's crazy. Harris's desk. Stories are scattered about. Harris has gone somewhere. Come on, let us out. Yeah! I found it. That's dumb as shit. Quick, get murdered. Now, one what, thing you I, don't need to talk to him? Uh, I want to see if I can just go down here, then I'll just go down here. That's an elevator. Uh, I do really like the kind of, you're in a box, you're in like a little diorama, the way the game is actually framed. Saves money! It saves money, and it looks like you're in some type of phantom diorama, which I enjoy. Look at this creepy shit. Why is there no roof to that elevator? I, I guess the invisible cameraman, scissor man, is out there. Oh, into the abyss! Yeah, that's some void shit. There you go. This oh, is, professor! This is the interviewer. I am the one who calls. So, this is in Norway for sure. Yeah, this is in Norway. Although everyone's name is like, Hi, I'm Tim. Hi, I'm Chad. It's, this is like some fucking Revelations Persona shit. How so? Oh, you, you're not, you've, I never told you about how in Persona 1, 
in the localization, they completely neutered the game of all. Oh, is it when they turned a kid into a black kid? They, they turned the goofy class clown kid into a black kid named Mark. Yeah. And they made all the characters like blonde high school kids instead of Asian. And it takes place in Lunar Vale, America. Eat your burger. It's 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 the most egregious of that kind of thing ever, mm-hmm. and it is it is a source of deep shame forever. <laughs> I don't know. I think it. I think that. I think when it's early on like that, like if it happened nowadays, and you know, to some effect, I would some... love it if it happened now. Yeah, right? Okay. I've never seen a series do such a hard swing on localization t- decisions. Uh, you're they right. went all the way from make all the characters American to inserting the word senpai into the English dub. There's no need. So the Scissor Man, right? He he does he really exist? That yeah. That's it. That is right. That is what our readers want to know. And the sick burn comes up soon. The Scissor Man has become a symbol of terror among. Youngsters! All oh, youngsters hate scissors now. Yeah, no, Liam they hates scissors. They refuse to do their arts and gra- crafts. They just sit there with their arms crossed and like, I'm too scared, teach. Hey, teach, fuck off, I'm so scared. So trashy magazines like him, and he's like, oh, sick burn on myself! I'm gonna take pictures of you in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you have a lot of weird stuff in your garbage can. I'll use that this, against you. This is such a baffling start. It's like the, you're not. This is just like this guy uh, up until I know. Like he's not part no, of the story. No, but I mean, he constantly just says he's not a mo- he's not a scissor man. He's no. just a, a, a man with scissors. A horrible, a a horrible murderer that killed everybody with scissors. Interviews over. What? Uh, we okay. don't even know. So I imagine in the first game, in the in the context of the escape, you actually fuck up Scissor Man like really bad a bunch of times. I assume like so. Like Jason Voorhees, and he's totally fine every time. I and, have to get and that's to and that's why it's he's like, nah, that's dumb shit. Yeah, he's expecting another survivor of the Clock Tower murders. Now, of what we play in the Super Nintendo game, a boy about ten years old. I don't remember that's him. Showing that's up. Scissor Man. No. No, he's he's a little guy pretending to be ten years old. Oh, you mean like it's three kids stacked on top of each other wearing a big no, coat? No, no, like like imagine if like fucking uh, what's that that guy? He's awesome. Oh damn, he's in the Game of Thrones. Oh, uh, Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage shows up. Yo, I'm ten years old. Oh yeah, we have to recast him in Destiny, not because it's the worst shit ever, but because he's unavailable. That was a huge mistake. What? Like casting a big famous voice actor. Yeah, no, for sure. A big famous actor in a game in which you intend to continue like that voice actor's. Why would you thing do this? All the time. Like oh, Persona wait. has happened to it all the time, where they cast all those A listers, and now like a third of the voice cast has been replaced. Mm-hmm. It sucks. And talk to this chuckle fuck. Cast voice actors. You know who's available for voice acting? Nolan North all voice the time. Voice actors. Troy Baker and Nolan North will work every day. Until they die. And Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal won't turn down a job. He needs it. I need a bad... He'll speak three languages in the voice acting. He'll do, he'll all, do, he'll do all three voices He'll at the do same all time. the dubs. I, I feel like the like that I'm kind of sad that it's only like cutscene cutscenes, but I wish all this was voice. Oh, it would be amazing. It, sound, I, I, it hit me in my head like, what does this actually remind me of? It reminds me of House of the Dead too. Well, it, uh, yeah, the, the voice acting. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, not yeah. quite as bad. Because that would, that would be a legend. Now, a butler named Rick is bullshit. That is not a butler name. Yo, How do you butt if you're yo, the name Rick, is Rick? Yo, Rick, I need some champagne. Okay, got it, boss. You gotta clean up all these stains in my bed, Rick. Ah, oh, I got it, boss. Uh, what these... Look at this. I have to go down and press yes. Well, and I then didn't press, have to press yes, yes again. again? Yes! Yeah, I'll show something to Rick. Here, here's this purple cube. Man, this these you know this looks like the goddamn front mission three like character models for the people. Oh, you mean like NPCs? Yeah, but like those are like super tiny because you're supposed to look at the robots. But this is they zoomed in really close. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, to be to be fair, I'm not, I I'm pretty sure I read this is Human Entertainment's first 3D game, 
And there's a couple of games like that where I'm like, oh, this is their first 3D game. Yeah, it's not that great. And this barely controls, like, this isn't a 3D game in yeah. the sense that, you know, like Castlevania 64, yeah. man, that game's not very good, but it was Konami's literal first yeah. 3D game, but and like, I'm like, yeah, like, fine. Like, look at this proper young man from you, Oslo. You are looking at a sterling example of why pre-rendered backgrounds were so popular in the PS1 era. Mm -hmm. Because if you didn't have to render any of the environment at all and just put it in the characters, this game would look amazing. But for a game that actually has like a lot of places that you can hide and interact with, you couldn't really do it. Mm. Or not easily. Or not with the budget you, that you You would put did. polygonal closets. I suppose so. I call him Edward because they decided to call him that because he doesn't have a name and it makes things really because embarrassing. Because he's Scissor Man. When I he he's Ed, he's Edward Scissor Hands. See there you go, nailed it. Oh God, that's probably super intentional. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. So I'm already seeing like a huge mistake that this therapist man has made. And and because he's not sitting on a couch, the kid. No, no. In in, in researching the Scissor Man murders, he has decided to like have a novelty replica of the scissors in his <laughs> office. You know what? That's a big <laughs> error when you're interviewing people that are traumatized because from the it murders. allows anyone who walks into his office that is Scissor Man you to know, just I, instantly. You know, murder I should him. spray some ketchup on. Uh, so yeah, we we finished the first day. Woo! Uh, yeah, let's spray some ketchup all over this fucking scissors so when people come in, they're like, oh, right, the murders. I remember them. This really helps my memory. That's no, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Here's also, remember in the front desk, there's the mask of the scissor man. It's right here. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm playing as this, like, ho this woman with no fashion sense wearing the, the fucking pink shirt here. I don't know. I think that looks cool. It doesn't look very cool. I would wear a power vest that was pink. I put you put some shoulder pads in there. Yeah, it's got to be a power vest. It's got to be a power vest. Power jacket. I I think the word uh dissertation is way ahead of its time being used in a video game. Yeah, because video games are dumb and for babies. Yeah. And uh nobody knows what a dissertation. I still barely know. What a <laughs> I barely is. know. Despite being university educated, I still barely know. That was the thing that it's people... It's what I'm studying. That was the people... The, the, the thing that people in front of me, like, by a year, and were smarter than me, and knew what they were doing, were doing. Yeah. Pat, where should I go? We get the hotel. You got... I, I just blew me away. The library. The la, la, the University la, Research bling, bling, do it. University Staff Housing. The police, police street. street. And the, I would go to the newspaper, personally. Oh. Uh, but you probably know where to go. I, I think up... Oh, I'll be mobbed by reporters. That'd be crazy. And all that will be left will be hair in my pants. That's right. That's the Shawn Michaels ending. What about Police Street? Hey, so girl. talk to this person that's sleeping in clearly their day clothes. With the lights on. Yeah. Oh, it's you. You! I find people that can sleep with the lights on deeply unsettling. Well, I find horses that sleep standing up deeply unsettling. Yeah, sort of. She's waiting for her big date tonight. Oh, man. Remember, don't use the university as a motel. I'm getting ready under here. Look at how ready this room is to be a motel. Go to bed. If you want the, if you want this place to be a motel, you really want to be on the top bunk and for the other people to be on the bottom bunk. Yeah, you don't want the, everyone to splash down onto you. Yeah, that's you. what you don't want. Yeah. You want, and also, if you get tired of them, you want the ability to, to like piss on them. We learned that at PAX Prime last year. Yeah, when we were in them bunk beds. Yeah. I so, will. Yeah, turn off the light as I get ready for my hot date. <laughs> he He's in there here already. Norwegians are weird. This is what I'm taking away from this. There it is. There it is. Wow, it's still Spooks. incredibly brightly lit. What we got? We got a DVD? Oh, There's I need cosmetics. cosmetics. I gotta put my makeup on in the darkened bed. <laughs> Before I go to sleep, and then I can eat my night pizza. So then when the guy wakes up, he'll go, Oh, look, you look really great in the mornings, too. Yeah. I look great all, all the time, asshole. This is just how my face looks. This ain't makeup. Man, you look tired. Are you sick? Are you taking a cat nap at, like, midnight? Yes. No, because she's got to work. Yeah, but you didn't set an alarm or nothing. No, you're taking a cat nap. A little kitty nap. 
feel like catnap is like the worst. It for, never works. Well, no, I mean, so word, that girl's gone. Uh, worst word for that because like cats sleep all fucking day. I know this. That that kid's dead. Someone's knocking at the door. Oh, who is it? Oh, I gotta put on my power suit to help me fucking open this door. Oh, don't Wait. use power bombs. You know how dangerous they are. Oh no, I power bombed him. See, I ought to examine the the blanket first. That's great. Yeah, because that's using the PS One's shitty. Yeah, models. that guy's gonna fall down. There it is. Boom, 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 boom. Uh oh, it's murder time. So this is baffling because you have like no options here. Go! Wow, Scissor Man's a fucking idiot. See, he can't be the little kid. He can't be Edward. Well, actually, he's actually hunched over extremely. So it could be anyone. Whoa! Go 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 go! Quick, run to the bathroom. It's time to go to the bathroom! No one in a horror movie has ever been killed in a bathroom. I, I can't recall if any of that ever happened. Oh no, you're in the men's bathroom. He'll never figure that shit well, out. Well, why would a woman hide in a bathroom of a men? It's physically involved. Look at her shadows! No, you have to get up on the toilet. Like... Oh, that worked? Because I knew it would. Huh. Yeah, I remember running to the right and hiding in a locker and dying instantly. Mm. And then... So, much like the first clock tower. So this is about as far as I play it, so I don't know what's going to happen next. Time to fuck it up. Whoa. Okay, so why, I shouldn't go back to my bedroom. There's nothing there and the girl's gone. Unless I should check her bed. I was going to... I would check her bed. Check her bed. But what happens if he comes back in there? Then you'll be dead. See, this is the uh, this is the, the one thing about the Clock Tower series where I really I, I like it. Is that it shows you all these possibilities right there. Yeah. And you go, well, what if he comes back? I don't know. Should I go? Should I not? Uh, should I go? Should I stay? Should I stay or should I go? There it is. There's the exits right there, so... You should have hit the odd exit. Well, you told me to go check. Yeah, well, it's too late now. Listening to me was the mistake. And look, the there's no uh, covers there anymore. Yeah. Cheap, uncomfortable bunk beds. Famous for being... Springy. Squeak. Oh, close enough. So, yeah, I'll just I'll just go for the exit. This is called the roommate fucker bed. It's so you can tell if your roommate is banging. It's creaky. And yell at them. It's just some creepy, like, fucking guy from Ikea is designing their beds. He's like, oh, I'll make them creep. Oh. That's a goddamn fire hazard. Hmm. All right, well... Make up your make up your minds, Matt. It's all up to you. I'm assuming this is another. You're the hero of this tale. Of this story, some creepy Oslo guy just designs the bunk bed so that they creak. He's like, oh, so I can hear the teenagers having the sex. Well, I'm standing outside their window. Creepy. I don't know what that is. That because that's upstairs. That's Let's upstairs. That's that. I'm not even. That gonna elevator is that guaranteed can't work. to not work. You notice how the lights are off here too. Yeah. Oh shit. Make your choice. And make it good. So we're on the first floor. No, you're not. Well, when we're in the elevator, you started on the first floor, I thought. Or maybe no. not. We don't know. You're for clearly sure. on the second of three floors. Is that blocked? No. No, what, what is this? Is that a window and just a little... It's an emergency oh, okay. ladder. But it can't because it's locked. It would be very <laughs> helpful if there was an emergency. Luckily, there is not. Fuck. Oh, that's right. Nothing works. The doors kept locked ever since somebody committed suicide. Seppuku. Damn it. It's only a three-story drop. That's you rough. die fucking hard off a three-story drop. No, that's what I mean. Oh, yeah, because you get all mangled. You don't just splat. Yeah, I'm super scared of that. Yeah, I'm scared of getting mangled. <laughs> I hope I don't get mangled today. That's why I try not to go skydiving. That's, that's not anything. Not because I'm a huge coward. No, not never that. That could never be the reason. I'm trying to keep a mental catalog of what areas you have and have not gone into. Did I? Is this another floor? This is the this is the second floor. You were actually on the third, it seems. Let's just try the elevator. What? Fuck. Really? Watch this be an instant death. You killed yourself. Are you proud? But I did. I avoided it. Quick, hit that first floor. Hit that first floor ramp. 
Yeah, we're doing it. I really I'll, expected like a I really to come through the door. Yeah. It, oh, that actually scared me. And it's times like these that you could really use an elevator assistant. He would defend you. Huh. Nobody's there. That's crazy. Uh-oh. So this is gonna be fucking locked. Yeah, it's all gonna be locked. You have to explore all the rooms to get, like, whatever items you need. No way out! No way out! This Sunday, John <laughs> Cena will defeat the Scissor Man at No Way Out. And he's still not gonna sell. Drippy can't, drips. Can't believe he didn't sell to being stabbed in the dick by scissors. Oh yeah. What's this? What key is it? Storage, storage huh? Key. Right on the map. Well, you got storage now. So there's a dripping sound effect, but nothing seems to be dripping. Don't worry about it. Huh. That's. But there's no security guard. Can I just pick up this folding chair and just have it? There's something that. To me, that is like so much more interesting in a spooky situation like this, in which you don't find a dead guy, you find nothing. Nothing. And where, like, what happened? What happened to the security? I don't know. Actually, that's weird. And it's fucking dead. Yeah. Almost like somebody with big scissors would be able to cut that. But how can you cut something with scissors? It's impossible. It's not like it's their primary function. Oh shit. <laughs> It will surely come! I will surely get the security! He just pinged your location, a scissor boy. Yeah. Good job. I want to see what this yeah, is. Yeah, seriously, is what are you doing? Thing? Something sounds like water dripping! Oh! Oh! Ah! Okay. The guy has no feet. Yeah. Oh. Okay, he's been dead for like two days. Yeah. He's all messed up. Uh-oh. Music's getting spooky. Yeah. Finding a dead body makes you crazy in the original, remember? Uh, yeah, it was- it was- she- she panics as she sees more fucked up shit, and she takes more damage. Oh, the dripping stop. Well, yeah, because you uncovered the source of the drips. Yes, okay. now you have a storage key, so you're gonna have to keep exploring all the places. I assume, like, it's gotta be just be a random... Okay, it's just bathroom. All the floors are, are, just, are very similar. Yeah. Let's try this. Sex to this little fuse box, so maybe it's, like... No. No. Door's locked. It won't open. Exit, no open. Oh, that, that one's just, like, never try this door again. <laughs> okay. Keeping this mental catalog is really difficult. This looks like the storage room. It does. But she didn't say I used it or it's the storage Hide underneath room. that box! It's a weapon. Give me the weapon! Who doesn't want to wear the weapon? <laughs> That's the worst Seinfeld episode. It's it's not my favorite, for sure. For sure. No. No, the worst Seinfeld episode is the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Everything. Where they get stuck in traffic every, on the street. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like it was trying to be a Seinfeld episode and it didn't quite work. It's trying to be a bottle episode. Many parts for computers! That door is totally the fucking key that you have. The red door. Is this even a door? That's not... No, that appears to be some door. form of weird cupboard. Yes. A weird cupboard. It okay. It should Huh. huh. Oh. It's wired shut? Oh, that's right. This door isn't supposed to be used. But I wonder if I could do something to the wire! Okay, well, I need You'll need to come back with some form of key item. scissors. No, it looks like you've explored... Oh! Oh, oh that's just generally... Wait, wait! Storage okay, storage key. key, so it's still... It's not, it's yeah, it looks like room. you've exhausted this this little... This little... But she said that maybe I could find a weapon as soon as I entered in here, so maybe there's one actually in here, but no. every box seems fucking empty, so I don't know. Uh, onwards and forwards? Onwards and leftwards. Yeah, yeah we're head currently heading west. Like, you, you gotta at some point start searching these like a grid, or else it becomes impossible. Ooh, firecrackers. Ah, uh, no. That's it's a fire like... extinguisher, doofus. 
Damn it. You could use that as a weapon if you were big and strong. She's not. Oh. These are clearly All I want is a red. So you, you try to hide in there? Uh, I'm gonna go for the to hide in other You know what? Room. I'm fucking gonna go up the stairs. Yeah, don't jinx that shit. Go up to the second floor. Should I go down one? Can you go down? Pretty sure I can. Nope. I'm pretty sure you can't. Well, I'm oh, already down superb. there. Nailed it. This is the second floor that you haven't been on. Run! You think the bathroom's gonna fool him twice? We'll see. Oh no, I heard him. Maybe he fooled him earlier because he's like, well, you weren't allowed to go. There's no oh, toilet! Fuck. There's no toilet in here! Wait for it. Oh! Now. Eventually, the, that's gonna fool you. The, the other good thing about this type of style of game is that they could totally. What about the other stall? I could totally open this door and he stabs me right away. Yeah. Because they're fooling with the expectations a little bit, or there'd be a dead body. No, Rose! Brutal. That's actually really rough. I picked the right one. I bet I, may, I'm, I bet if I took this one, this might be a fail state while he's still pursuing me, you know? I don't know for sure, but... Oh, I the just gotta clip through everything! The sink is right there. What's the point of a stall with no toilet again? Sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused Get about that. In. I need to wash up. You really do. How'd you get blood all over your hands? I don't know. Wait, what? A face she has never seen before. Is this just a narrator all of a yeah, sudden? Yeah, it's a narrator. It's third Weird. person now. Okay, let's let's. Can we try any of these doors again? No, just that one. You can't see murder things more than once. Go go go. Go go go. You can do it. Seems a lot easier to progress and get stuff happening in this one. Oh god, I thought the the doorway there was something. All right, Let's what do we got this. here? Yeah. Storage room. No, nah, this, this is the lab. Office. Oh, quick. Check out the office. Maybe I can take the big fake scissors and fight Scissor Man with his, with scissors. With his own weapon unless the scissors are gone and he actually and that, took those them. are the ones that he's using. Yeah. Fuck. That's bullshit. I says. Can you use the key? Storage key, though. Yeah, well. Yeah, it should be. Well, Darn! Dead. Every avenue is cut off! You could just jump out the window. I could. We're on the what? The second floor now? Yeah, you could live through that. You'd be all fucked up. And, you know, I wonder you'd... if the mask is something like you put on a fool's or some bullshit. Looks like Beth forgot these. Spray can Ooh. of mace! The, the powerful, powerful irritating, irritating stench smell. of the woolly! Yeah. So did I get it? I'll check, I'll move them last up. Nope. nope. Are that. you serious? Wow. Fuck you. Stay helpless. Unless this becomes like you can like a cutscene moment. Bring in him room. in here and you can beat know. him up a little bit with the Check power, out that mask. The powerful, irritating smell of Code William. Come on. I, I guess it's just this computer. I guess that's what it means. Danny, it's really messy. Why do you keep your desk so messy? Danny, we're all right, yeah, we we appear to have exhausted this room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Scissor Man's profile's oh. in here. That's Wait, crazy. Okay, don't read it. Yeah, don't read Unless it. Unless I need to click it again. That'd be really interesting. Damn it. Fuck. Yeah, okay, so we're starting to see that items don't click on them more than once because they're always going to be the same. They're always going to the same People thing. will People, talk to yeah, you multiple exactly. times, but... There didn't seem to be a door right next to it on, like, the uh, last floor. Well, I'll just keep track. Ah, you Try lied. This. The fire stingers might be a thing. Like, you know when you fight Verdugo? Mm -hmm. And they're just kind of there. And if you bring them over here, maybe I can, like, push them into them or something. Ooh! There's a box. A box! Oh, yeah, that's a trash can! Oh, there's a knife in here. Try that door. I know it's not going to open, but, uh... Okay, no. 
There go. you go. There you go. Confirmed. So if go. he ever attacks you in here, you knock his shit off. So uh, let's go on the other end see if we can get an encounter with him, maybe. Okay, yeah, all the way to the pat like, I want to knock the right over. side doors. Yeah. You still haven't uh, these doors right here. The fuck's the storage room? I don't know. Whatever. Maybe it's the door at the bottom that's locked. Okay. There's a room there. It's the couchy. There's a little stand with magazines. It's just one fucking magazine. What a shitty. Uh... No, there aren't. There's two. Oh. There's two academic journals. It's not. Time to go. Go! Go, oh, lady. this is the room he's in. Right. Oh no, he was coming right through! Oh Jesus, under the desk! That's the worst of all hiding spots. I think, I think the, the, the lockers are worse. You but we'll see, it. we'll see. Uh oh! That is... Shh! Oh! Yeah! Well, let's Hold listen up. to the music. No, don't, idiot! I didn't tell her to do that! She crawled out automatically. That's crazy. Okay, music's done for now. Well, that's interesting. It's just there's sometimes just random encounters that just. Fuck. Oh no, the power set. It'd be great if I click on the fucking lockers and he comes out. Somehow. There's multiple. Why are there stuffed animals in a locker? Is this some kind of weird theme? Oh my. Oh, oh fuck! You, you, I will snap. Quick, check out that fax machine. I can't. Just kind of locked in. Come on, girl. Oh, you gotta wait for the fax machine to finish. Oh, well, well, you know, bear with us for another ten minutes. Fax machines are shitty. I don't like them. Useful. What's it say? Oh. I'm coming to get ya! That's so cool! That's, that's like the weirdest. You gave a fax from death! Oh, oh no! Above you! Oh, what? I, I just like remember he, he had like helm breaker like abilities in the yeah, last Yeah, yeah, helm breaker abilities. There's I can't believe every fucking Yeah, I was, I unique. assumed all of them were gonna be uh, yeah, yeah, I just wanna see if there's like a weapon or something. Or a key. Ooh! Yeah. That, that might be useful. You now have the flashlight. No, don't do that. I knew you were going to make that joke, and I was well, like, Well, I no, did please. it. Okay, so I guess I don't really need that unless I can blind him with it, or there's a room that's super dark. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm coming to get you. Anything over here? That's the phone again, but I mean... All I'll, the phones I'll, are I'll dead. try it, but I... Oh! Wait! What? Yo! It's going to come in. Wow. There's been a murder. Come quickly, please. Tell them where. Please relax, ma'am. Did you see the murderer? No, just tell them where you He's are. The one with the giant scissors. <laughs> Scissor man. You've heard of him, haven't you? No. If this is a prank phone call. Wait. Oh, are you serious? Who would ever hang up on a call like that? I, it doesn't matter if the call sounds fake. You gotta follow up. You send a guy out there, and he's like, oh, I hate these calls. And then he finds uh, a real murder. He's like, oh, jeez. I'm a hero. Oh. I knew it. Yeah, what a job. You get to be a hero for finding a dead body. Mm. But then some. if the, the cop is the murderer, he's got the perfect alibi. I found the body. If we, if, we were, if we were cops, we'd be heroes every time we went over to Wooly's house. Mm-hmm. I it's, I nice, I'm, it's cool that I can get her to go almost the entire way by just clicking enough. I feel like this game, because this is an early PS1 game prior to a DualShock, right? Yeah. If this game had come out in the DualShock era, what you could do, uh, the storage room was to your left. Or the, 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 um, the, the, with the wire cutters, not that one. That's, that's the security room. One. That's the elevator. I know, but I'm just clicking on stuff to get her there. So that one, try it again. Said it was locked and you would never be able to open it. It's, yeah. There's no way to open this door. Weird that that storage key, like, seems to have come in for nothing. Unless I use it after this. But yeah, or... say this game was a DualShock game, you could then move with the left analog stick and still have the right analog stick for, for the mouse stuff. Mm. 
So yeah, you have to use the, the pliers for sure. Like old timey adventure game. Yeah. Yeah. Feels good. Ugh. It worked. I'm out of here. Scissor Man's gonna bust through that fucking door for sure. Or be like under one of these boxes. What? It's lo- oh wow. Well then use the key. Maybe. Heat the key. Heat that Cause key, I, man. Cause I- Yo! Wait, it's double locked! I gotta get to my car, and Your car now. is fucking wrecked. There's a gigantic pair of scissors in the engine block. No, the engine block's cut in half. Oh, wow! Did we beat it? Oh, wait, this is scenario one! Yeah. I hope it- I hope it's very similar and we see, like, the scissor come out the back of the back seat. I hope that's what it is we see. Yo! Clear. We're doing it! Save the game! I'm gonna save it. Wow, you did that perfect. I guess so, but, I mean... I think that was more or less luck. I bet you if I had gone into that wrong star at the body, that would have been... She would have like, ah! gasped, and she would have barfed right onto Scissor Man's his fucking scissors. And you would have been like, yeah, That's girl. disgusting. He's... <laughs> what the shit? Oh, shit damn! More? I, I'm not even done solving the first one! I want to point out that uh, that's not a mass murder. There are only two people killed in that. Mm. A mass murder is de facto three oh boy, people oh or more in a single event. I hope you weren't daydreaming doing your silly girl dreaming. That's a double murder. Double homicide. It's not a triple murder. Why is she it's not a mass murder. Why is she a Come on, Gots. You're supposed to be a fucking cop. Gots. Call you in again. It sounds like you gots to get it right. You gots to solve this murder, and he's like, I know, I haven't heard that before. People keep telling me, you gots, solve the murder. I'm like, oh, I'm working here. Helen needs a kiss to give enough energy off to scare away Scissor Man. We're almost like sisters now. She's like, what? No, nothing. This game was made in Japan. What? What? Game? <laughs> <laughs> I really want to. You'll believe understand story. when you're older. Was it the real Scissor Man or was it the man with the scissors? This is baffling. <laughs> is it though? This is so confusing. Scissor Man. He looked like a huge creepy weirdo. <laughs> he didn't look like a human at all. Well, shall we dance? Okay. It looks like her her hair is a scarf. Yeah, some people's hair is, is scarves. Yeah. Somehow, I must find a clue about the scissors. I would go to the. the I would go to the. I go to the hotel and talk to what's his face. Wonder if Edward is there. Being a scissorman. I it's feel the like him being named hotel. Edward is too on the nose. He, mm, I mean, the woman just said like I'm calling him because of that, but I mean, you know, American movies like certain ones get super super popular so in Japan, and then they just make entire franchises around that. Hey, I heard that you were attacked by the Scissorman. That's crazy. I'm so wet. Oh, what? God, what? I'm wet because I splashed myself with water to solve the shock from hearing you got... Oh, uh, no, I'm just wet. Oh, uh, I thought I was going to go on a different denial. It's like, no, no, I mean, I'm wet because I had to splash myself with water to cool off because I got so hot talking about Scissorman. Because I'm so wet. Yeah. Would what? you know? No, no, I mean like I'm high. On PCP. What? That's what it feels like when I talk about Scissor Man. Whenever Edward tells me stories about how awesome Scissor Man was, I tell him to leave the room. And you never know. Game logic is good. Damn it! No, come on. Where the fuck is he? No, talk to her. Excuse me, is he here? No, he's not back. That's... Is he being scissored? Oh, I see. <laughs> It's really embarrassing if you come back in like 10 minutes later. Go to the police people or the newspaper. It's the only I will ask gods. <laughs> I will ask gods about the god hand. I saw one uh, fan sub of Berserk that said gods. Yeah. I saw Gats. Gats infuriates me. It's not my, it's, it's... Gatsu is probably No, wait, Gats, G-A-T-Z, yeah. or Gats, G-A-T-T-S. Which Both one did you see? I've seen those interchangeable. I don't mind Gats with a Z because it's dumb. Like... Do you, do you know the one man in Oslo named Rick? 
Mura has come out and said, guys, it's supposed to be the English guts. Just with katakana or hiragana, you can't actually write that, so it ends up coming out as gatsu. Uh -huh. But it's supposed to be guts. And the, the fan the fan translators, because those people are crazy, it's like, no, it's Oten or Yotens. Jesus. Forgot about that. So, Rick fucking... Call me subs calling you out. You don't know what you're talking about. Rick uh, quit being uh, the little butler uh, went before 10 years before the Scissormans even murdered. That's crazy. So why would he be given the statue? Give me the statue. You, I gotta give this huge statue of Seth Rollins to Scissorman. It could be a fucking secret somehow. Inside is the scissor powder that gives you scissor powers. To sprinkle the scissor powder on you. Turns out, Scissor Man. I never used to believe in Scissor Man, but then I, I realized after rubbing my uh, teeth with my brush. No, you know what? That I, I was rubbing a you skeleton. Know, you know what I want it to be? You know what I actually want it to be? It's one of those things that that lets the series go on forever, and is totally consistent. Is that Scissor Man is not the person? Scissor Man is the scissors, and yes. whoever owns them. Becomes, becomes a curse. Story. Yeah, no, that's and fair. And is then possessed. That's why Clock Tower 3, which was not a Clock Tower game, they just called it Clock Tower 3 because Capcom got the license and said, oh, fuck it. And they had no scissor guy. It was Hammer Man. Yeah, that was dumb shit. It sh and what does it have to do with the Clock you Tower? You built your whole series crazy, around a singular villain. Not having that singular Hammer villain man. is kind of baffling. It's fucking... Bam. Oh, God, I gotta play as Gots? You gots to... Uh, that's why you. That's why you're. You're still here. Uh, oh, I'm talking to Rick, the oh. little butler. Oh, well, that's how it was. He looks like a little butler. Gramps, yeah, come on, Gramps, tell me some shit. <laughs> I need some shit, Gramps. What you got? Mm. You got no lemonade or anything? Oh, yeah, Burrows, Burrows Castle is. Yeah, where I the know that place. I, I went to some eyes wide shut there one time. It was really cool. It was super cool. It was totally in England. It was totally in England. Oh, it's got that creepy music. I like Why it. Why in the goddamn fuck are the Norwegian p police investigating a goddamn British murder? No, I gotta talk to him more. Is it because the girl is Norwegian? Look at that dog outside! That dog is rigid. <laughs> it's a scissor dog. The monster was once born there that terrorized the local children. Huh? What? How scissor is that? Man. <laughs> This is fast becoming my favorite franchise. Oh, it's really good. Dun, dun. He was killed by his father, who was a scissor. Okay. Household of 30, 13th Stroheim. A little bit. That's the move that put me in the hospital. <laughs> what, the scissors? Yeah, the scissors. The scissors shot the blitz ball at me. Damn. <laughs> he has over 13 cut bones. There's only there's only one attack that I know that can do that. Yeah, where's the castle at? <laughs> it's in England, idiots. Just go over to England and find. Oh, castle. now the dog's getting his time to shine. No. Oh, the dog made a bark noise. Oh God! Oh, oh God! Wait a minute! He's gonna get stabbed hard from the side angle. Oh, come on! Get stabbed from out of frame. This is the perp. Oh! The heel turn! That's Beethoven's it. second. It's turning into Cujo. Holy shit! Oh, it's you! Shoot him! Holy shit, Gots. You got some. Oh, wow. You never stop shooting. Oh, no! Wait, what kind of gun only has five bullets? A bad one. Run my ass off. Man, that... That dog, um... The scissor man makes things go crazy. Oh, is that accurate? I don't- I don't know. I just want to believe that that friendly dog wouldn't hurt him. Yeah. He was a cutie. You have very limited time to solve this. I think I... Oh, that is not a thing in the okay, floor. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm gonna- Hit the door as soon as he gets to the midway point. Ah, scissor man, you're an idiot. Tables can foil your shit. Idiot. Go, go, go! You have limited movement capabilities because you have to do that, that clench step every time. Clinching. He's got to clinch each time. Go, 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 Gots! He's gonna burst out of it. There it is. 
And then he's, he's, he's like, oh man, it was late. Run, Upstairs? Run, run. I don't know. That's gonna be locked. You know what this reminds me of? What? Now granted, this is before we've played it, but it's after you've seen us play it. This reminds me of Until Dawn. Well, the setup, yeah, the scenarios, the characters, and then there's like, a Until Dawn seems like a here. super, super big budget version of this kind of game. Yeah, no, I, I, I'd, I'd agree with that. Reviews for that just came out. Yeah, no, they're all they're all pretty solid. They're all they're all like this game has problems. And it's really linear or whatever, but it's cool. Oh fuck. Yo, you're fucked now. Maybe this pot. Don't even plan. have any options. No. Nope. I'll just go around the table, I guess. You're literally no. Wait, mash on the door. Mash on the door. Oh wait, oh. I got I got some time. Oh no, gods! Oh, you got fucked. Oh uh, well. That was a brutal ass murder. I I thought I could find him, but the dead end. It still has the same thing. Yeah. Wow, this is actually really fun to play, actually. Yeah, I was a dumb baby when I played it, and I didn't give it a chance. But yeah, oh, wow. The load times like are decent. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the old these old games could have like horrific load times that would destroy this game, like uh, Outbreak. But yeah, pretty good. Bam, bam, bam.